Hey guys, so yeah, before I start off this video, I just really wanted to tell you guys, I do have a female available. You guys are always asking me for females, and I do have one that's three weeks old right now. And uh, it's a blue female, and if you guys want information about that, obviously you guys can contact my Instagram, Matt's underscore Kindles, I think, or just contact my personal number, and uh, it is at a really good deal. And uh, I'll tell you the reasons why and more info why it is, why it's a good deal, just because it is just, just briefly summarized. It is different blood that I work with. Still really good. Still really good. But if you want the extreme extreme, obviously that is a whole totally different price. But it's a really good foundation female. Thank you guys so much. Let's actually get on with talking about incubators. Love y'all. Peace. What's going up, you studs? And uh, hey guys, so yeah, today guys, I just really wanted to talk to you guys pretty much about the incubator that I have, the exact one, which is uh, Pet Brooder, Pet Brooder 90. And the things I don't like about it, right? And honestly, I'm just gonna say this flat right out. It's that I don't really think incubators are a necessity when it comes with uh, taking care of puppies, just because uh, some of you guys actually text me like, hey, um, my incubator it's like what temperature can i set it to right what can i set it to like they always ask me all the time they constantly like all right bro since it's like day four now what temperature do i set it at and i'm kind of tired of actually telling like text people like oh you should set it here or i'm gonna just tell you this so i'm gonna tell you this in this video so that way it can simply fly things just to make things easier because the thing is i'm gonna tell you guys man the incubator i'm not really a fan of it honestly i am not because of the the conditions of the incubator and i'm not saying the incubators are trash no no i'm saying the incubators it is only good if you need it for the oxygen if you need it for the oxygen that is pretty much it that i can say you need it for anything else you probably don't even need the incubator if like say for example there's this common myth that people say that, oh man, French Bulldogs, they need high maintenance when it comes to taking care of them. And yes, they do. They actually really do need that high maintenance when it comes to taking care of them. But they don't really need the oxygen because if they really do need the oxygen, bro, French Bulldog, like the breed itself would be such a high maintenance breed. And they, it would probably be extinct. It wouldn't be extinct per se, but it's most likely the the types of french bulldogs if for example like a certain type like with those actually really bad like uh brachycephalic breathing or the, the the structure of the dome of the head would actually be like bad like they, they, those bulldogs would just not exist right so I, I can pretty much say that right it's just like muscular french bulldogs or the fat english bulldog if like say for example if they like literally french bulldog, like english bulldogs will not be extinct right um, people, people like people would say that English Bulldogs would be extinct because they require C-sections. Well, not necessarily. The only ones that would not be extinct or would still exist are French Bulldogs with smaller heads that can pass through the uh, the cervix, the cervix, right? So that they can have it naturally. It all runs in the the pedigree. It all runs in the genetics, the pedigree, the blood. You guys can say so. In this video, I just really want to talk to you guys pretty much about the incubator, right? Why I, I'm not a fan of it. I'm not a fan of it because you guys know how the incubator is really enclosed, right? I'm talking about the temperature. It's really enclosed, so there's no, like, yes, it's a controlled temperature. You know how much, like, how much air or you know how much, like, humidity or how much, like, what the exact temperature there is into it, right? And, yeah, everything's all good. But the thing is, guys, I want to tell you guys. I, me personally, I believe the ink, like the red heat lamp or heat lamp in general, is always going to be the best versatile when it comes with taking care of puppies. And this just comes from my experience, right? This comes from my experience. Because I always tell people, like, if you're using the incubator and they don't need the oxygen, then don't use it. Just, just use a traditional heat lamp right especially when they're they're new to this incubator i'm not saying you you don't want like you can't try yes you can try and do what's best for you but this is for what i've experienced with the 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 heat lamp is that what i always do how i set up my whelping boxes right i've always set it up half hot half cold and the reason why i do that is because puppies are instinctually right instinctually pretty damn smart when it comes to moving around so they're pretty, they're pretty good. They'd be pretty smart. So it's just like, you know, when when they're all hot, they're gonna disperse away from each other. 
Like they're not gonna huddle. But when they're cold, obviously they're gonna huddle. They need that temperature. They need that body warmth from the mom or from the puppies from each other. It's literally survival of the fittest, right? And that's that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, because uh, lots of you guys, man, have asked me like, hey, uh, I asked <laughs> asked me for temperature, like temperatures to set it at, and. I'm always gonna tell you guys straight up, there's no correct answer when it comes to doing temperatures. And some people even ask like, oh my gosh, it, like some people ask like James from Love My Pups, like, but James told me to set it at this temperature. I'm like, then why are you asking me then? But the thing, I understand why they're asking me because they want a, they want a second opinion. They want a different brain to pick it out of, right? Everybody whelps their puppies different. There's no like correct way, but what I can always say to you guys, there's a general guideline to follow of what works best for you and your puppies. So what I think about the incubator, me personally, I, I, I just, I, I, I don't even use it to this day anymore just because like my puppies don't even need it. I only use it if they need that saline or they need that oxygen. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> that literally is pretty much it, right? So heat lamp, summarize. One hot zone and one cold zone. You just have a huge setup box, right? And just make sure your whelping pads or your, your, your box or your kiddie pool. I use a kiddie pool and they do amazing into that. It looks ghetto, but trust me, it works pretty damn good. And you don't have to have expensive shit, right? You don't have to have expensive stuff to take care of your puppies. But what I do need to tell you guys is that just make sure you have everything beforehand. Say for example, like, the heat lamp in general or heat pads heat pads are also really good you can do the same method one hot one cold with the heat pads same thing it's 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 not common i'm gonna say it's common sense but it's not really common sense it's more like from experience and hopefully this guys helps you out really I, i'm really speaking from the heart here from what i've learned with the incubator incubators are not a necessity right it's it, it really is not you don't really need it unless unless you need it for the oxygen and that's pretty much it <laughs> that really is it and so if you guys are curious how i set up my things um looks ghetto i know but i set it up with the kitty pool with a big ass like cage around right that's how i set it up and then after that i uh i do like old clothes or i do like towels around my 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 litter like my whelping place and i don't use cedar wood yet until they hit four weeks just because i talked about this in the video before but i don't like to have the seed wood like really dusty no matter what kind of seed wood you use it gets really dusty the dusty particles they can get inside their eyes and they can get like irritated or infected so um there's just some little tips for you guys to know hopefully that helps you guys out when it comes to uh, taking care of puppies i hope your puppies are all doing well i will be making some more videos about like this and uh, talking to you guys on call or maybe on facetime as well i've enjoyed it and i've done lots and lots of editing so i just wanted to throw this video quick really out for you guys um because these are the most common questions that people ask me love you guys so much hopefully you guys enjoy the content like and subscribe peace y'all studs Hold it